We are in Dumfries. And this was uh, the big town from where I used to live, down the road near Castle Douglas. Actually, uh, Ockham Cairn. So we were up visiting friends and we're gonna have a look in T.B. Watson. It's Martin in the window. <laughs> already broken out the old forester for Callum. It's a little taste. Okay, let me show you what's in here. Another good set of minis. <laughs> There's some good ones lurking up on the top shelf, I see. Bunch of Glen Alkies up there. Okay, let's go to the other end. <laughs> oh, glass cabinet. I think I missed it on the last last look around. <laughs> They got some, some curious ones. Is it okay if I go behind here, Callum? Let's see what we can see. What's that one? Oh, I see it's it's boutique. Fifteen year Brooklady. What's at the top? So Carmore is the name of independent bottler, Carmore, or is it? Uh, yeah, I think they're independent bottlers, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been that familiar with Carnmore. Good collection of Octomores up there. Yeah. <laughs> It's lurking down here.
So is there any particular whiskey that tends to sell well around around this area or is it just across um, the board, everyone? Well, we've only got two uh, whiskies from oh, that's our a... area. The, that's the Annandale. Oh yeah, okay. And we've got Blattnock as well, which is with them. Right, yeah, that's just um, Cuckoo Breeway. Right? Yeah, so a lot of people ask for them. That makes sense. You see the price and they, yeah. <laughs> they go for something else usually. So the Annandale, is it Annan or Annandale Distillery? Annandale. Annandale. Yeah. And so are those, I know it's young, so are those like uh -huh. three or four year old whiskey yeah, at this point? Three, yeah, three or four, yeah. We're going to try and stop in on the way past. All right, uh-huh. Uh, so I think the tours will be very good because it's all brand new. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a look. Yeah. We're heading south today, so. Okay, what else? What else is good to point out? Let's see. Any special bottles in the shop you can think of? Uh, this one. It's ours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have our own. Oh, it's a store pick. Uh, as they yeah. call, well, they call it store pick in the in the US. Well, you know um, the boss. That's the other boss, Karen. Uh, Hi, Karen. Hi. And uh, so it's her and her husband. Her yeah. Brother, and they both blindly tasted three samples, and they both picked this one. Oh, nice. Um, it's a cast strength, 10 year old tomato. We got yeah. it bottled because we've been in business for 110 years. So. <laughs> and the 110 yeah. year wasn't available? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so it's got our logo on it and it's it says, you know, specially selected for oh, TV fantastic. Watsons. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. So that's absolutely one of a kind. Yeah. You won't get that anywhere else in the world. Fantastic. Um, I saw I mean, there was another Optimore on the other end of the shelf. Rest and be thankful, which it presumably is independent bottle. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah, it says an independent. Uh huh. Yeah. And the, so the independent brand is Rest and be right, thankful. Yes, it is. I. I think I've heard. I've heard the name. There's a couple of different ones. Um, I haven't really seen many other ones. We took yeah. one in, but it's it's not been as popular as some of the other ones. Right. And I. What is that then? I see Sauternes and any idea? If it's the five year like the other. Uh, oh no, hang on, I can see, see it on six years, I see. Uh, see it on it. Oh, that's interesting. Good stuff. I brought I brought in some bourbon, Karen. All right, Feel I'm free. If you want to have a sip of some old forester. Alright, but I've barely in the deep <laughs> yeah, for me. I've left a I've left a sample <laughs> bottle for you to try. All right. I think uh I think we've Looked at everything. I'll leave these guys in peace. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't sell to retailers. Oh. 